Still no answer in Antonio's room. I wonder where he could be. I, I doubt that he and Diane are still at the ball with her feeling sick and all. Unless they never got the note we left under the door. If they know your house burned and Teresa won her case as Mrs. Julian Crane, I'm sure they're on their way to meet us right now. Yeah. Maybe once Antonio hears our family's in trouble, he'll want to come back to Harmony. Are there seats still available on this flight? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll bet that as soon as Antonio gets my note, he and Diana will come down here. Then we can all fly back to Harmony together. Yeah. You know, it'll be so wonderful for Pilar to have Antonio home for good after all these years. Especially with his girlfriend. Yeah. I think Antonio really loves Diana. I think she's the woman he wants to spend the rest of his life with. Yeah. Well, sure seems that way. Despite all the problems that Antonio and I have had, I... Well, I'm really glad he found someone special. Yeah. The way he talks about Diana, I think he'd do anything not to lose her. Yeah. Though I didn't get a chance to talk to her, you know, the ball with all the noise. And, yeah. well, obviously, I couldn't see her face. Her mask got stuck, but you know, she seems really nice. And, oh, she sure can dance one hell of a tango. You know, it's almost as if. Yes. I know, it sounds strange. There's something about Diana that reminds me of Sheridan. You know, I can see how Diana reminded you of Sheridan. You can? Sure. Um, Diana's about the same size Sheridan was. Similar hair color. <laughs> Although, her voice sounded kind of strange since she was sick. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't thinking about her face. Of course, it couldn't have been like Sheridan's. Ours was one in a million. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to always be talking about Sheridan. It just okay. kind of happens. It's all right. I understand. No, but I don't want you thinking that I'm always thinking about Sheridan. I mean, I am, but it's different now. How so? The love I had with Sheridan was incredible. But enough time has passed that I can see that fate only intended our love to last for so long. See, Sheridan always believed that we had all these past lives together. Something always came between us, between our love. Now, if that's true, then that's happened in this life. And now that Sheridan's gone, I think that I need to move on. And not that I'll ever forget about the love that I had for Sheridan, but my heart is ready to move on with new love. I love with you. Now, I think that I can still honor Sheridan's memory and love you at the same time. I'm ready to start a new life with you. Where's Antonio? He should have been here by now. Unless he just never got the note. Maybe he and Diana are still at the ball. Well, Brian said that she wasn't feeling well, that he was taking her to see a doctor. Maybe they're still there. I wish I knew what the deal was. Is that why you didn't mention Antonio when you left word for your mother? No. I just wanted to be a surprise to my mother that Antonio's coming home, okay? You sure that's all it is, Luis? Or are you afraid that Antonio's just never going back to Harmony? Are you afraid of disappointing your mother? Is that why you didn't mention Antonio when you left word for her? You're afraid he's just never going to show up? No. Beth, I'm sure Antonio will come home with us. Look, he and I had a talk. Now I know how much he cares about his family. He's not going to let us down again. Yeah. Well, that's the feeling I got, too. I just wanted to see where your head was at. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that he and Diane will be here as soon as he gets my note. He just must not have gotten it yet. Antonio must not have gotten 
but as soon as he does, I'm sure he and Diana will be on the next flight out. You're worried about what's waiting for you back in Harmony, aren't you? <laughs> my sister having declared herself Julian Crane's widow, my family's house catching on fire, you know, even with the insurance, it's still going to cost us a bundle. Luis, you're doing it again. What? You're taking on all the responsibility for your family, just like you did when Antonio and your father left. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Stop. Think. Okay, realize things are different now. You're not a kid who has a brother and sisters too young to fend for themselves. What are you saying? I'm saying that you don't have to take all this on alone. Okay, you have your brother, Antonio, his girlfriend, Diana, to help you. And you have me. All right, and I'm not going to let your responsibilities to your family cost us our relationship again. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so wonderful. I love you, too. I really do. And I promise you, I'm not going to let anything come between us again. Okay?